I made a video. I believe it was yesterday or the day before yesterday, in which I explained why most of the world is deceived and why they remain deceived. Hold on a minute, I believe it was several days back. But anyway, you can listen to audio recording when you browse through my videos. Right, just go to my channel, youtube.com slash LRA2013 and go to videos, then you can look it up. Look, in this video, I want to speak about why some believers remain trapped, why they are never fully delivered. And well, it's easy to talk about the world, why the world remains deceived, but it's a whole other thing when you have believers, people that are born again that remain deceived. Christ said that if it were possible, even the elect would be deceived. So there are going to be some believers that are deceived also. So you may think, how can believers be deceived if they have the Holy Spirit? You may think that should be impossible. Well, I'm here to inform you, it's not impossible. It comes down to this. What the enemy does is that he offers you a good. A good is a good outcome. And he promotes this good outcome. And this good outcome is beneficial in itself. So it is a benefit. And world people agree it's a benefit. So of course, you are a believer. You are a human being also. You have, you have rational faculties. So you acknowledge this is, this is something beneficial. So the enemy comes with outcomes which are beneficial, but here's the, here's the catch. Those benefits are short-lived. And those benefits have side effects. And those side effects open you, open you up to evil spirits. So that's how the enemy keeps many believers deceived. For example, um, since the emergence of you, YouTube, even before YouTube, people kind of knew this, but though to social media, the knowledge has been spread around that Christmas is pagan. And people can now just go online to YouTube or they can go to Dailymotion or some other video website and they can get whole documentaries about the origin of Christmas. So what happens now? You have people who are born again, they come out of oppressive environments and they want to grow. Then they receive all this information that Christmas is pagan. But here's the thing, those believers are not delivered yet. They still have worldly ways of thinking so that they still have this relief centered, mi centered mindset. So when they hear Christmas is pagan, they think, okay, I'm not celebrating Christmas anymore. Because they think in their mind, okay, Christmas is pagan. Christ was not born on 25th of December. Nimrod was, so okay, not going to celebrate it anymore. But what has happened now? They're not looking at the bigger picture. A holiday is a celebration of a collective celebration in a community where people get relief. But here's the thing, many of those believers are relief centered themselves. So instead of saying, okay, Christmas is pagan, I'm delivered because I'm not attached to seeking relief. No, they're now holding on to them not celebrating holidays. Because they're because they because they receive information that's pagan. Okay, it is true it's pagan. I'm not going to deny that. But their confidence is not in Christ. Their confidence is in their own efforts not to celebrate pagan holidays. And this is a trap. Why? Because you're now relying upon self. You're relying upon your own efforts to be relieved. Because they think if it's a pagan holiday and I do it, I'm in trouble with God, so I don't want to do that. Or if I celebrate the pagan holiday, something bad's going to happen because people will call me a hypocrite or whatever. Or I just, they don't even seek any further explanation. They just think, oh, it's pagan, okay. And by, by having this attitude, I'm not talking about the fact they're not celebrating the pagan holidays. If you don't want to celebrate the pagan holidays, I support that. Don't celebrate. But... 
their attitude of wanting relief from from a bad outcome because that, that's their mindset. That's the same mindset the world has. So you have worldly people that celebrate pagan holidays to be relieved, to be together with other people. And now you have some believers who have the Holy Spirit, but still have a relief-centered mindset, and they seek other believers who don't celebrate pagan holidays to feel to feel relieved, to feel validated. You see, we don't celebrate pagan holidays. This seeking for validation is a trap. And the enemy is using that to keep believers in the negative. But here's the thing, because there is a true fact, pagan holidays, not in agreement, not in line with the Bible, and here you have people who are against that, you think, oh, I need to be around those people, those are the good people to be around. Oh, and here's another trap, seeking good people. Christ commanded us to rely upon him, not to rely upon good people. But a lot of believers, they want to find the right church, the right, the right group. They want to know which, way, which club is the right one. Christ never told us to do that. But that's what a lot of believers are hooked on. And you know what? Because they're not in agreement with Christ himself, Satan has them. But they are not aware that Satan has them. So what's happening now? Those believers... They're now stuck at some cult that they're not aware it's a cult. It's only when members begin to malfunction, they begin to realize, oh, this is bad. And now they want to distance themselves. And what happens now? Now they want to look for another group that is good. And that's how they go from group to group, from church to church. They're trapped in a loop. There's also a deception. A deception many believers don't see. So I've taken my time to record this video and I'm telling you, Stop looking for good people. There are people out there with the willingness to do right. There are people out there who, as you can see, have good instincts. They exist. Not all people are narcissistic, malevolent entities that want relief at all costs. Okay? Not all people out there are reprobates. Okay? So there are people there who want the good. And that's honorable. But what happens often is that Satan comes with a good to them that keeps them from the good. Well, let me say like this. Satan comes with a good to prevent you from going to the better. Because when you are trapped by a good over here, you can't perceive the better. And the better is where you ought to be, but now you have this good over here and you're relieved over here, so you're not going to look any further. And because you don't look any further, because you think this is it, you're missing the better. And while you're in this good over here, it's relief centered, so you're still in darkness. But it's not darkness you can perceive as darkness. Well, that's what I want to share with you. Follow Christ. Stop seeking relief with groups there's nothing wrong with being part of a group but often people join groups not because of a practical motive for example if you are a car mechanic and you join a group of other car mechanics it's a practical thing if you are in if you are um trading in textile then you can join a group with textile traders. So there's nothing wrong with being part of a group or being part of an association. But often people go after groups and associations to be relieved from violence and be relieved from negative outcomes. So they're relief seekers. And when you have this mentality of relief seeking, you are already deceived, you are already trapped. But I'm talking about beliefs, so a lot of believers, when you point this out to them, they revolt, they resist. You know why? Because they become attached to that good that the enemy has granted onto them. And they're not aware it's the enemy that has done it. Because this is what a lot of people don't understand. The paranormal has goods also. It's not all vile, violence, uh, homicide, and all that. There is a, There are good stuff the paranormal has. But, th but those goods are only to keep you trapped and to drag you all the way to the lake of fire. Well, if you're born again, that's not going to happen because you're born again. But you will have paranormal entities working through other people to keep you 
trapped in one place to prevent you from growing in righteousness. Because the enemy doesn't mind you hearing the word of God. The enemy doesn't mind you reading the Bible. The enemy doesn't even mind you to pray and all of that as long as you are not in agreement with Christ. As long as you remain relief-centered, the enemy is happy with you because you are in darkness anyway. Well, that being said, agree with Christ, be at peace.